for this next part, um, what we're going to be doing is uh, taking now the line from our power source uh, and that'll be going over uh, to our device. This next part should be fairly simple. Um, all you're doing is now hooking up uh, your female DC power supply uh, connector up to the uh, phone cord that's going to be going into your uh, power supply here. So what you have is on your female, you have where there is a uh, outer L-shaped tab and then on the inside this smaller tab uh, by which you'll be connecting um, the uh, positive lead wire, so you know, positive on the inside, uh, negative on the outside. Uh, and this is how you would circuit or wire in uh, your, your female lead, uh, whereas on the uh, male connector, uh, they have a similar, uh, where you're looking at both the positive and the negative leads, uh, that you'd be wiring your, your DC lines to. Should be fairly simple. Uh, you're just going to be knocking these ends off and stripping these wires. plug which is going to be the uh, DC female and then also uh, you should have uh, your uh, foot switch your normal switch and that goes into the other phone plug uh, all of these are which of course uh, will go into respective places uh, within your uh, DC power supply uh, and power the rest of your devices. One more step that I uh, didn't show, with, but I, I applied, I didn't show with all the uh, other wiring when we did the DC plugs and the phone plugs and that sort of thing, um, is I purchased this stuff. Uh, it's called the Brush On Electrical Tape. Uh, and really what this stuff is for is just like normal electrical tape. Uh, but you know, in case you think that your circuits are getting a little too close in here, uh, what I did was is I just painted over um, each of these little spots to make them rather than uh, to make them black and nice and sealed away from each other so you don't have to worry about a short circuit. 